Hey, YouTube. This your girl, Candy Licious. Just took me a shower. Yes, it's about 4 o'clock in the evening, but I had a really long night. A really good night, too, if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I'm sitting over here getting ready to oil my body up and um, go on live me for a couple of hours. I just thought I would kick it with you guys and say hi. Hello. How are you doing? It's almost the end of March. All right, we got two more days. I would like to say that my family is planting a family reunion. So the elders came to me and said, hey, be on the committee. You know, what's up? What's up? We do have one person that's in their 30s, though, because we do need to know what the young folks would like, okay, because we older. So I felt very honored, you know, because when family isn't close as it should be and then you feel like an outcast and a black sheep, and then someone says to you, hey, no more. Come on, help me do this, and let's get this family together, and let's let these kids know each other, and let's have some fun and eat some food together and love on each other. And it's like, you know what, finally, yes, finally I want to. So um, for those that I consider family, I want you there with me because I love you guys, and it wouldn't be a family reunion without y'all, blood or not. Okay, it doesn't just have to be blood. Like I told my cousin, we could bring whoever we want. It don't have to be blood. It's whoever is family to our hearts. So I want my Hennens family there with me, okay, because I never see a Hennens family reunion. So I would really like for y'all to be there with me, okay. All my peoples, the DMR Film 305 family, I would love for all of you guys to be there if you can. I'm going to put the dates on a flyer. My cousin's going to make it, and then I'm going to put it in a group and invite all you guys. So please come out and have some fun and laugh and smile and chill with me and my family because you are my family. So, all right, outfit check, right? I have on a, like, I don't know how you, what you call this, like a hoodie dress made out of hoodie material, and it has a hoodie on it. A hoodie on it, and um, yeah, it has pockets. It has pockets. It's really cool. It's a cool little outfit. I like it. It's comfy, cozy. Keeps me warm because the wind is really blowing hard. I mean, it's blowing so hard. I'm just about to knock the power out again. <coughs> oh, excuse me. How many people take their water with cucumber in it? Oh, man, I don't have much light over here. Sorry, you guys. Look at that. Cucumber in the water. Oh, that is so refreshing. It just feels like it's just washing my insides every time I take a sip. I already took my sea moss and turmeric and elderberry and bladderwrack and burdock and uh, soursop. I took all my herbs today and my smoothie. I need a nap, honestly, you guys. That's why it's so late because um, I cooked a whole lot like I did yesterday. Yesterday I made mashed potatoes with bell peppers and onions inside of them. I made a whole tray of wingdings, which was about 30 or 35. I also made um, regular corn on the cob with butter, homemade mashed potatoes, and uh, snap peas, right? Snap brain bangs, and they were so good. Who was that? Oh boy, probably somebody changing the appointment. A stupid survey interrupting my YouTube video. It's like every time I try to get on YouTube, somebody calls me. Do y'all notice that? No matter what time of day it is. I'm in a male room right now. I didn't talk to anybody. Press 4. We're not applicable. Did your really ain't. order arrive at schedule? 
For no, press 1. For yes, jump 1. Press 2. For yes, mostly. Press 3. For yes, definitely. Next oh, question. Please listen very carefully. And you will be using a response scale from 0 to 10. And it is very important that we get an accurate response from you. Now, using the keypad and printing any number from 0 to 10. Where 0 means not at all likely. And 10 means extremely likely. How likely would you be to recommend this pharmacy to your family and friends? You entered a 9. If this is correct, press 1. Because the same people I said wasn't no good is all the people that turned around and stole from the church, lied on the church, did all kind of bullish, and then the church had a major split. So it's like, don't berserk 
that God can use whoever he wants to do to say whatever and what's right. And I was saying what was right, and they was shirking, you know, for shirking me. Like, hmm, poo-poo, you know, oh, girl. <laughs> you know, like, yeah, no, not that. How the fuck I don't know nothing? Because I cuss? Because I got tattoos? Because I fornicate? Okay. <laughs> so did the deacon in the front row. He just sneak and do his shit. At least I ain't lying about mine. You know? I'm telling y'all, I could tell you a lot about things I just seen go on in the church. Scandalous. Okay, because what we have to remember is these just regular human beings in charge. They're not angels. Okay, they didn't come from something holy. They're just regular folks trying to do their best, just like us. So they can't be somebody that I look up to if I see you always messing up. And then I say something, and it's like, <laughs> whatever. And like I told the team leader, I do not feel welcome in any church that I've ever stepped in except the forgiveness church forgiving the church because they loved on me you know from the parking lot from the front door yes the word church does that but join the ministry team and see how much love you get with your tattoos and your pills okay see how much love you get in because then they look at you like mm, you less than because you got my world in you or whatever who is you to judge how much world is in me obviously I'm vibrating high that's what my son told me. He sent me a video yesterday explaining to me why certain things happen to me. And he said, you know, because I have a high vibration. So it's like, I'm connected too. Don't treat people like they're not somebody because they don't have as many years in the church, a husband in the white picket fence. Don't treat people like they don't know what they're talking about. Okay? Do the research for yourself. If they would have went and looked up these people for themselves and paid more attention to what they were doing, they would have caught them doing the stuff. Now, I'm not saying the church deserved it at all because it was wrong what they did, and I was very sad when it happened. But I sat back and said to myself, why is it that they were the only ones who were allowed to be leaders? I tried to work with the kids, signed the paper and everything. And like my team leader said to me, aren't you a teacher? I said, of course I am. She said, why they haven't accepted you over there with them kids yet? I said, maybe because you ain't got nothing but a bunch of closed-minded senior citizens over there. As soon as they saw the tattoos on my hands, they probably threw my paper away. Then here come the pastor daughter calling me. Oh, honey, uh, I think her name was uh, Shanae. She called me. You're a beautiful person, Shanae. You did try. I appreciate you. But she called me and asked me, that was I still interested? And I told her, hell no. You're not going to shun me, even though it wasn't her. But the people you guys had in charge, they shunned me. But they were the ones that were stealing money from the ministry in Huh. way. <clears throat> you know? So it's like, hell no, I'm not about to do that shit now. Because, see, for one, you have to catch people when they feel passionate about something. I don't feel passionate anymore about being over there. Maybe later in life it'll come to me. But I feel more passionate about opening my own, you know, thing for kids where I could teach them how to garden and be entrepreneurs and how to do their own taxes and how to work on credit and build it at a teenage age, how to budget, how to be mentally stable, how to resolve conflicts peacefully. So I'm going to do things my way. I'm not going to do it no more the way they say do it because all they want to do is teach our kids to be sheep and slaves. I can say anything about education because I am an expert on it. I've been in the field a long, long time, and I know exactly what the hell I'm talking about. So, I always make these um, 15 minutes or less because, I don't know, I be thinking, do somebody really want to see a long-ass YouTube Do all you do with love and never judge. Peace.